Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new Weenie Issy Sport which was released with the Casino and Resort DLC. Now as you can see this vehicle is heavily based, heavily, heavily based off a Mini Cooper, no doubt about it. Um, apparently according to the GTA wiki, this car is based on a Mini Hatch 2018 facelift and also a 2020 Mini Cooper GP concept. Uh, that's going on the bolt on arches usually with the with the concept but just look at it man it looks awesome not too keen on the big wing at the back I think it would look a little bit nicer if we had, if we could get rid of that so hopefully we can get rid of that because even though this has been out for a little while now this is the first time of me customizing it because there was a group of cars that came out when the DLC dropped I bought them all but I didn't customize them <laughs> so I'm now coming back to customize these sons of bitches uh, because all the unreleased stuff all the drip feed cars took priority over my videos so I'm coming back and I'm customizing these original ones from the DLC uh, so now we are on the weenie issy sport and it does look awesome man I've wanted a mini Cooper in the in the game uh, which you could heavily modify for a long time I've always been saying we should have a weenie issy that we can take into Benny's and this looks like the sort of thing that I was hoping for uh, so hopefully we can do quite a bit of customization um, so without any further ado let's crack on and see what sort of customization we can do so as always we're going to start this build with 100% body armor then we've got the brakes we're going to grab the race brakes for the bumper front bumper so we do get a nice few options which is cool uh, it's good to see so we've got the carbon splitter color code splitter secondary splitter oh for fuck's sake so i thought we might have some uh, nice options but they're technically all the same thing which is disappointing so in that case we might as well just buy the cheapest one and it is the carbon and because like i said that they're all pretty much the same uh, unfortunately but then we're going to move on to the rear bumper so we've got the diffusers, the primary, and then the secondary, which again, pretty much the same thing, man. I mean, if you go get a diffuser, you maybe want to see some sort of difference in, in the bumper, but nothing's really happening. They all look very, very similar, or pretty much the same. So again, I'm just going to purchase the cheapest one, which is the first diffuser. <sighs> man, a disappointing start. Really, really is. And uh, then we're going to move on to the engine. We've got the level four engine upgrade for the exhaust. We've got loads of options for the exhaust. So if I accelerate just to get rid of the exhaust fumes, uh, we've got the big bore, the titaniums, the side mounted. Oh, that's pretty cool. Where they're mounted just behind the front wheels. Uh, we'll go titanium. Why the hell not? Then we've got fenders. So we've got the carbon. Oh, so we can change the body kit to carbon, or we can have a secondary. Carbon or secondary. Let's have a carbon. Why the hell not? Because I don't think this car is going to look much different otherwise. Because the customization so far has been pretty weak. Then we've got the grill. So we can have the intercooler. But to be honest guys, I don't think the, the ones with the exposed intercooler look very nice. We've got the weenie logo on the front of the intercooler. I think it looks wank. It looks really ridiculous. Uh, so I'm just going to stay stocked for the grill. For the hood. Uh, loads of options for hoods shame there wasn't loads of options for anything else so we've got ones with hood pins oh, a carbon and then this primary and then obviously the secondary version of it as well so it's the same old story you just got a different probably three different variants but then there's primary secondary carbon versions of them it's wank mate it's so bad it's so lazy from rockstar from such a promising vehicle as well and at eight hundred and ninety seven thousand dollars damn you'd expect something a little bit you know a bit a little bit more from rockstar in regards to customizations at least um very disappointing so we're gonna go with a stripped hood i think just because i don't know it's probably the best one out of all of them so yeah we're gonna go with that horn we're gonna skip we're gonna go to the lights and grab the xeon headlights now we're going to move on to the livery and as you can see loads of options for liveries like there have been for all of these uh, brand new DLC vehicles. Um, wow! 
Holy crap. Uh, yeah, the uh, Republican Space Rangers livery. Not sure about that. I mean, obviously it's quite comical, but other than that, it looks a little bit funky. Not a fan. Uh, again, with these ones. See, they're pretty cool. The logger beer, they actually look quite smart. That probably looks better than this one. Yeah, man, I like the logger beer alt. It looks cool. Why the hell not? Let's get it. Makes it look a little bit different. Because <laughs> you can't change fuck all else on this car. Uh, we're going to skip the plate respray. Is there any point now we've got a full livery? Maybe if you want to change the um, the roll cage. So primary classic. Uh, let's go Let's go black. Why the hell not? And then we'll go secondary classic. And we're going to go black as well. Yeah, so we just changed the roll cage up, which is awesome. Uh, it looks a lot nicer in carbon black. And we'll go we'll go black as well for the trim color. Then it changes the pads on the roll cage. For the roof, uh, we get the carbon scoop. And then we've got the primary scoop, secondary, race, primary race, so on and so forth. Uh, the race ones actually look really weird how they hang over like that. Uh, I, I'm not a massive fan. And I also think they look a little bit weird on this car, so I'm going to stay stock for the roof. For the skirts, we are going to get some sort of carbon skirt. That looks alright, I suppose. Mm, maybe that one looks a little bit better. I think that flows a little bit nicer with the body kit. Which, yeah. I think it does. I think it looks a little bit nicer. So we're going to go with a carbon race skirt. For the spoiler, oh, we can change it. Yes. Thank God for that. What an awful fucking spoiler that is. I'm so happy we can change that. Uh, we've got the street, race, uh, the primary wing, and the secondary. See, even though they're crazy and outlandish, they, they still look better than that. Uh, I'm not going to get one of these big wings, though, because they look stupid. So I'm just going to go with the carbon lip spoiler. Sunstrip. Wow, weren't expecting that. Globe oil, hard strand, then the log of beer. Um... Uh, I think it looks better about it, so we're going to skip that one. Suspension, we're going to get competition suspension. We're going to get a race. Oh, sorry, super transmission on this bitch. Then we're going to get the turbo tuning. For the wheels, the wheels aren't anything special. I think we can get them um, in a couple of other categories, that being like the SUV and the sports. So I'm not worried about changing these. So we're going to go tuner and change them for a set of tuner wheels. It's also really weird that we can't change the offset of them wheels because I hate the way that they sit inside the car like that. I mean, if it's got a wide body, at least put it as, you know, even at the stock wheels, they sit too far inside the car. It's so fucking weird how, why they do that. Rockstar have built this car. At least have your stock wheels with an offset so they stick out. You know what I mean? We should have an option where we could have maybe, I don't know, wheel spaces or something like that so we could move the car, move the wheels out, sorry, away from the car. It's so weird. That's a, that's another massive design flaw um, for this for this car, especially. Just look, look at that fucking arch gap. What the hell, man? What is all that about? It's so, so weird. Rockstar need to sort that shit out. At least give us another option in LS Customs where we can maybe add wheel spacers, you know, and then we get to choose the deck, depth of that wheel spacer. Oh, man, it's so disappointing because this is an awesome looking car um, with the wide body kit and all that. It's unique, if anything. And <laughs> they give us wheels that are sunk inside of that body kit. It's not flush at all. It looks weird as hell. Unfortunate, man. Really unfortunate. Uh, and another thing is that if you're not, not having to stock wheels. They, they're, they're smaller so it goes from like I don't know maybe a 16 inch to like a 14 inch it's so weird and random why make the wheels smaller when you choose an aftermarket set it's so odd I really don't get it damn um, maybe if we have an SUV that might oh they're a little bit better I suppose they're not as small uh, so we are going to go in the SUV and we are going to get 
these bitboo rims, why the hell not? We're not going to leave them white though. We're going to change them to a colour that's not on here. Wow. So we can go fluorescent blue, I suppose, but then it's not really the same. Um, maybe yellow. Yellow might look alright. <laughs> I'm going well out there with this build, man. So yellow to go with the um, the other parts of the livery, maybe. So we'll go race yellow. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe changing the wheel color. Uh, sorry, the wheel type up again because it's got that chrome bit around the outside, and I don't think that looks that great. Oh man, no wheels look good on this car. So pissed off about that. All wheels look so bad on this car. Right, S Racer. Let's go S Racer and just go safe with the color. A nice simple carbon black. <laughs> There we go, done, done and dusted, window, tint, light, smoke, and that's that, let's get out of here, see what it's like in the sunshine of Los Santos, and as you can, as you, sorry, as you can see as we pull out, uh, this is a very nice looking car, it's pretty cool, I love the fact that they've brought out a wide body mini, it feels really nippy just moving backwards and forwards like that, just the only downside of them wheels man, how the offset just makes them sit inside the it's inside the car. It's such a disappointment. It really is, because it is an awesome looking car. I'm so happy that they that they've brought this vehicle out. It's really quick though, man. Really fast. It feels really responsive as well. In, in like in the turns, it holds well. So the uh, the traction is definitely there. Really nice. Really nice to drive. Very easy to drive as well. Holds in them corners, it feels really nippy and responsive. Yeah, man, I'm really happy with the performance of it. Uh, obviously, I haven't put it to you know any in depth testing, but from what I can gather just by driving it around the empty streets, it feels really good. Um, it looks awesome. What I've done to what I think looks really unique and cool, but there's going to be so many of them that look like this because there's little to no customization on this vehicle, unfortunately. And for something which is nearly $900,000, you'd expect a little bit more. Um, in my opinion, the Drafter is a lot better for a lot less money. I would recommend this car if you wanted to use it purely for races. You wasn't worried about any sort of visual or customization because it, I reckon it's going to be very, very good performer in the sports category. Um, I don't think it's going to be one of the best, but I'd say probably top 15. So it might be worth buying for for sports races because it is quite small and it is quite nimble and agile and I think it can whip around a lot of corners a lot better than most other vehicles in the sports category. Um, but if you like, I said if you're looking to buy a new sports car from the Casino and Resort DLC, um, don't buy this one. I'd buy the Drafter, hundred percent. You know, ten times over this one. Um, but yeah, don't mean to hate on it too much because it is a cool car. It's cool looking. It is really nice and. But it is what it is, you know. It's just one of them cars where you're either going to love it or you're going to hate it. Um, but yeah, on that note, I felt I'm going to end the video there. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.